My name is Lydia Kobsinge. Kobsinge means of peace in Lutoro. And I'm glad to say I'm generally peaceful. I would say that everyone is different and it has taken me quite some time to learn to listen to myself, to my guts, to my instincts. If it is about how I engage with people or when to take a back seat, especially because I'm an introvert, who to talk to, who not to talk to, who to let into my life. There was a time I had liked that the thought, the prospect of dating this person. But after some time, when I actually got the chance, it just didn't work. I realized that we were not compatible and that I had to let that relationship go. Uh, it caused me quite a lot of heartache, but when I was able to let it go, I was able to have peace with myself. One thing that I know now, sometimes I forget, but then I remember is that I, people, you don't have to, you're not everyone's cup of tea. There are some people who you will not mesh with and that is okay. But that does not mean that you will not be civil and compassionate when you meet them. However, if it doesn't, if you don't mesh, that is fine. You simply be civil when you have to speak to them and move on to other things. You don't have, you don't have to get, have everyone liking you or appreciating you. You just need to understand you, you understand them, and you're able to collaborate for the time you have until you may part again. And that is very critical. Finally, when I met my husband now, who makes me very happy, and who I am glad to say that I'm compatible with, and I can see a great future ahead of us. When I first met him, I did not see, I met him way before several other relationships in the middle. So when I met him, I thought, oh, he's good looking. And we kept working together, but really mere acquaintances. But it was after my bad relationship that I left, and I was enjoying being single and happy, that he brought up the prospect of meeting occasionally. And I thought that that would be just friendship, but it kept on progressing. But what I really, what really stood out for me is that he is, he was willing to listen. He was respect, willing to respect my thoughts and my, generally what I stand for, and able to put up with who I am, which is introspective, asking questions, and being inquisitive. So he took me for who I am, and I appreciate that. I, in my 40s, I would love to be more financially secure, having several businesses running. I would love to still be working, because I like to keep my brain busy, but not that I have to be dependent on the job. I must admit, right about since I started working up to now, I am still not making the best financial decisions, so I have to do better at that. I hope to have a family, at least two children. We have just recently begun this marriage. A uh, successful marriage. I want to be a seasoned economist, one that one can be most sought out, most sought after. I would also like to be an incredible public speaker. I'm only beginning my journey, thanks to Toastmasters. So I hope that I will be able to speak with confidence and be able to wow people, and that I should still have a great body by 40. Till I'm 80. I like to stay at home, watch TV, read books. But every now and then, when I have money, I like to go traveling. I like to see wildlife, beauty, nature, new places. I love travel, but rest too, in balance. The thing that Uganda has that Kenya does not have is greenery and beautiful weather and plenty of food all around. 
we we are blessed with perfect soils and I believe we could make great use of them if only we're able to take care of the environment. That is cut down on the deforestation and the wetlands among others. Another thing that we have is warmth and hospitality. Not that Kenyans don't have, but ours is much better because it is, I think we've been culturally poised that way. I think that Kenya has that Uganda doesn't have or needs to improve is customer, <laughs> customer care. Because there are places you'll go to that could clearly do much better if only people are more mindful, people are more mindful of the customers, willing to give them attention to be able to get provide the best service. So if we could improve that, that is one of the key things that is causing many businesses to fail. One a person comes once and may never want to come again. So that is something that we could really work on. All said and done is that you need to do you. Whatever it is that speaks to you, whatever your instinct is selling you, whatever your character trait, if those are good traits, please boost them, seek to improve them. All of us have faults, so don't use that. Don't use the faults as a crutch to keep having that weakness. If you can make it better, great, please work on it. But your innate personality, your goodness, your strength, boost that, let it work for you. And those who love you will take you for who you are. And for those that you cannot mesh with, be civil, be compassionate, let them go on their way and you on yours.